on the screen, you can see Jeru running on the left-hand side with Java running on the right-hand side on a BlueJ platform. In this brief tutorial, we're going to discuss some of the differences between the two languages. In Jeru, there is only one class from which we make objects. That, of course, is the Jeru class. Here on the left, we can see that we have created two Jerus. In Java, we can have however many classes as we want. For example, in the diagram shown here, there are three different classes. A dog class, a puppy class, and a dog tester class. When we create methods in Jeru, we put all of them under the single Jeru methods tab shown here. You can see that we've created a method called move. Each method that we create is preceded with the word method. In comparison in Java, the methods for each class are stored with that class. For example, if I was to open up the dog code, I see all the methods that the dog has. Here we have a speak method, an eat method, and an act method. Whereas in Jeru, we always prefaced each of the methods by the word method, in Java, the header for the method is slightly more complicated. There is a keyword that describes who can call the method, and then there's another word that describes whether any information is returned to the caller. We'll discuss these keywords in another video later in the course. But for now, all you need to understand is that each of the methods for the dog are in the dog class. Likewise, if we look at the puppy class, we can see it's got its own methods. Let us now examine the starting method for both languages, which is called main in both. Here in Jeru, we see that the method main is preceded by the keyword method. We have two soft parentheses and then an open curly bracket. In comparison, if we look at Java, for our classes here, the main method happens to be stored in the dog tester class. We see that the structure is similar, but there are some additional keywords present. Once again, there's a keyword that describes who can call the main method, and then we have this other sequence called static and void. We'll get to what these words mean in, later on in the course, but right now, when you create your main method, you need to create exactly as it's shown here, public static void main with an argument of strings inside the parentheses. Notice that the shape of the parentheses, the soft brackets around main, and then the open curly bracket is identical to that which is used in Jeru. One final difference we'd like to point out between the two languages is where the output is displayed. On Jeru, we constantly get feedback on our program from the output panel shown on the right. In Java, when we run the main program, we're going to get another console window showing up with our answers. Let's run this Java program. So I'm going to position my mouse cursor here on the dog tester. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to hit the main program and it's asking me if any additional program information is required. Since it's not for our program, I'm just going to hit OK. And you can see that the console window pops up now with the results of the program displayed. And finally, while in Jeru, the program comes pre-built with the Jeru class and a large number of predefined methods. In Java, we have to start from scratch and build all our own classes and methods.